Good evening, everyone. This is Brit Farms 2018. What you're looking at looks like just a bunch of metal cut and welded on it. Well, that is the section of my quick attach for my loader. Uh, it's not as neat as, you know, these new ones you can buy from, but it is going to hold what I needed it to do. As you can see, it's really thick, nice and thick. Both of them are welded on the inside and the out. You see the holes that I cut out. I will weld washers on them to make it fit better. And that's gonna set inside these bars here. Set in between here, it'll kind of hook up in here. And down here, I ain't quite figured out exactly how I wanna do that yet. I'm thinking about welding a pin in here so whenever I hook this and tilt the bucket, that this pin will slide into that uh, into this channel here, and I can just drop a lynch pin in there. That's what I'm thinking. So as of right now, that's what it is. Well, that's what I've got. Uh, like I said, it don't look like much, but I think it'll hold. <laughs> And I got this one side done tonight, and then tomorrow I'm going to do the other side if I get back in time. See, tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll work on it tomorrow. Uh, now, I do have this piece of pipe here and this piece of pipe. What that is going to go do is when I get both sets welded up and fixed, and on here, it's going to be a bar coming across here. That way, both sides will have this I will be at the same angle every time I hook it up way like one's not floated down the other one's folded up and giving me a headache and every time I do anything but as of right now that's what I got uh I'm going to when I do that bar that circle that round bar in there I'm going to probably reinforce it with some angle iron that way I can hook my cylinder up to it. And uh, maybe that bigger bar. If I can fit that bigger bar in there, I'll use that bigger bar so it'll hold better and it won't bend as bad. But we'll see what happens on that. I'll figure something out. Uh, hopefully it won't be have too much torque against it where it'll bend that bar whatever uh i know i have to do some uh figuring on that but anyways that's what i got so far and uh it looks like it'll hold so if you like my channel so write comment rate subscribe as you lose everybody else the channel if you want, if you want to get into doing stuff with metal fabricating stuff like that, start with small projects, and I promise you, you'll enjoy it because I do. Uh, if I didn't, I wouldn't be getting into all this. But, you know, cutting, torching, welding—it is a good trade to get into. There's good money to be made in it, and there ain't, you know, there's no. There's no end to what you can make with it. I mean, there's endless possibilities with it. And like I said, you get into a trade where you do that for a living, you make some good money in it. Me, I drive an 18-wheeler. I come home and I piddle with this. So, uh, but anyways, I'm going to go in here, get something to eat, and go to sleep because i got to work it early in the morning. So, I'll take care if you know someone that is looking into getting into fabricating stuff like that, small farmer, you know, channels, send them my way. I would appreciate it. Y'all have a good week. Stay safe. Stay warm. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.